Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. We don't. No, no. If you if you're gonna if you're gonna open your you know, small talk socks. If you're gonna open your yap, say something small meaningful. Small talk socks, and, and they, you don't have to dissect everything and go on and on about it. We make I say make your point, get away. And they all do. It's like bam. But whatever. It's a doctor. What? We can't do this. Whatever. What do you think? Yeah. Well, the the, there's one, there's one, there's one show on CNN where the guy has like whitish gray hair, where they sit around a big table and they're all like, act like they overdose on caffeine, but they they overanalyze things. Not now, I don't think. Like you're talking years ago with Crossfire, not now. I mean, now it's like it's a no-brainer. There's well, nothing. Disgusting. Yeah. They don't go on and on about nothing. I mean, the point is, but there's one thing they don't they don't say on CNN point blank. Our system is rigged. Our system is corrupt. The point blank. Yeah, they do. Where have you been? They do that point. Well, they do everything. Well, maybe Cuomo does. They're, they're Chris Cuomo. They don't pull any punches. Yeah, I know. Uh, CNN does not pull any yeah. punches. Anderson yeah. Cooper is a little too gentle with guests. No, he's not. No, he's, he's tough. Not. He's tough on guests. Okay. The CNN pull any punches whatsoever. Do you hear about that Fox News Ingraham, what she said about legal immigrants? She she bashed legal immigrants. And she's a whack job. Ingraham. There's no argument. She's a whack job. She's you like tell me she looks like a lily white racist. You tell me right? Who Fox is good. No satire. It's like it, they're it's all not bunch a of, news channel. They're all hate. Yeah, I know. They're all hate. It's not a news channel. If you get it through your head, satire. Yeah. It's it's a that's that's your fake news. And what does Trump love? Fox. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I mean. Okay, watch it. Watch. It. But they never bash. They never bash European le no, watch, immigration. Always. Oh, Fox you know. News Network. It really is. It really truly a news network. There you go, Jimmy. No. Is Fox so-called news network a total crock of shit? There you go, Jerry. Yeah, cut and dry. It's bullshit. I've watched them. I've I've heard psychologists come on CNN and say that Hannity whack job. He said he is certifiably paranoid. Oh, O'Reilly was a nut job too. O'Reilly, that sexual predator. And who was the other one? Their, their chairman. Oh, Coulter. Ailes. Ann, Ann Coulter. Ailes. Roger Ailes. Roger Ailes. And he died shortly after. Remember the hateful things Ann Coulter used to say? She's nuts. Well, this, 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 uh, angry. She's, like she's like an Eileen. Crazy. Oh, hi, Eileen. Oh, hi, Eileen. Hey, your teeth looks brighter. You must have used Ultra Bright with a baking soda and, you had your hair up. and what peroxide. Was, you had your hair up. What is it, greasy? No, I'm kidding. Uh, Hey, your purse hasn't shrank, by the way. It's the same size. No, he doesn't know. Make him go weigh it. I think I got a polyester shirt on. I'm feeling the heat. Polyester? Ah, that's what? me. That's the I'm the, this is the heat. What, why, come on, come why, on. Why on earth are you wearing polyester in this weather? I didn't know it was polyester. Take a look at the No, package. no, I don't want to take a look at nothing. Take a look at the package. I can't. I don't have my polyester. glasses on, but it's, I don't know what it says. Yeah, I, You I, just want to show me your bra, don't you? No, huh? I don't. Huh? No, I don't. Jimmy wants to see it. Yeah, right. See? Yeah, right. There no, you go. No, uh, well, I was a sarcastic here, right? Oh, that was sarcastic. You see, uh, you see, where, where in the world? You've got to distinguish junk from things of value. See, that's your problem. Once see, you can overcome he's that. He's an expert on junk and things of value. Oh, I throw away junk, baby. No, you don't. You're not pro hoarder. You're going to go on and on and on. You're not pro hoarder, are you? 
Are you pro order? Nope. Okay, that's all I want to know. This, my friend Jimmy Madonna, is he very good and does he throw away junk? Who are you talking about? Jimmy. Yes, I do, silly. Come on. You think you do. By the way, first time I'm disagreeing with the amulet, I do throw away a lot of junk. In his mind he does. In reality, he probably doesn't. Yeah. I, I, I keep I keep uh, quality good. junk that Silas I might is, use. Silas is golden, let Eileen speak with us. That I might use. So the mechanic tried to charge me $800 oh, for come all on. the exhaust system. And I went to Pep Boys. I said, this sounds like a ripoff. I went to Pep Boys. They said, I only need is a clamp. And it will cost labor in the part. And it would only cost me $50. The mechanic oh, was ripping 50, me off. From 800 compared to 800 Yep, he you know, was ripping me you off. You know what he was doing? He good saw a you. woman. He saw a woman coming and he tried no, we, to take we, advantage we, of her. We know yeah. that, but good and, for you. And you use your education. Education. I'm very proud like of you that you defended today. yourself. Yes, yep. good for you. I didn't tell him anything. I'm just going, I'm not going back Friday to, to get. To, Are you going to go back to the guy and just tell him off? Like say, I'm listen. I'm not going to tell him. I'm uh, just not going to go Friday to, to give him eight hundred dollars to do no. nothing. Yeah, yeah, but you could show him the invoice of the fifty bucks and say, aha, gotcha, <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah, and do what? Maybe you can report it. I don't know. Who is this mechanic? I'll go on Google and give him a bad review. Bad. No, don't. You get lawsuits, no. If somebody is evil, how could they, like... They've had a lot of lawsuits you know, now like, where they've had to hurt doctors when a doctor really didn't do anything bad, and that can ruin a career. Yeah, but this is bit. bad. Relax. It can hurt. You just got to watch what you say and when, because they can get you for liable and slander. You know, you're, you're better nothing. off, better off shut, just get to shut up and let it go. You yeah. learned you won't but go But how there. do you get restitution? How do you punish people that are evil? How do you what do? are you getting nervous about? No, but how do you punish the, the I, guilty? I Jeez. So upset, though. Look, later on, give me the name and of his establishment. Later on. No, don't. He'll go on his damn computer. Yeah, and do you. How do you get... Uh, hey, Sicilian. I'm Sicilian. No, he was going I believe oh, in I ven Vendetta. Vizzacchino. I be yes. Vendetta. Go over I'm there. Sorry. Go over there, Carl. Exactly. Go over there, Carl. Go like over. a piranha. Go over. I don't want to hear this stuff. You go, want, go he don't this. believe in Vendetta. You're not going to be the last one to do it. Don't do it to everybody. Uh, you don't know. We don't know. They could, she could get sued for this. The whole way it's better to just let it go. Don't bother. Uh -huh. Every view will do it. Nah. You don't have to put your, well, you have to put your first name, right? No, I wouldn't do it. No. I use my I use my stage name. What's your stage name? I hate to ask. Pro pro progress, progress. Uh, uh, Bob Alucci, as in Bob Alucci. The, you know the snake. Uh, 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 Rob Robert. No, Carl E. Mari. I can say chef. I'm sorry. I can. Oh, what about Sal Manella? Chef Sal Manella. Go over talk. Hey, that's cool. I just made those up. That's funny. That's great. Go over talk. I've seen that already. Salmonella? Somebody I stole my that. salmonella? Nobody stole your salmonella. Oh, but your jokes are always funny and mine are never. Some people just can't tell a joke. He laughed. All right, forget it. You know what it is? I know I know a guy named Andrew Anderson. He's got to be number one, numero uno. He's got to be the center of attention. But well, Jimmy, you're going on saying it's my joke. No, I yes, and that, and it, that. Carly Mari's mine. Pil no, it's not. People have used that so much before. I got this guy laughing over Go here. Go over and talk to him. Oh, all right, all right. Go all right. on. All right, Go all right, on. All right, all right, all right. Ah, I love Carly Mari, especially when it's not too fried, uh, over fried. Ah. Italian chef says one minute, you deep fry. Call, uh, my uh, friend Jimmy Madonna carry carry all his conversations far, way too far. That's that's how you learn stuff by networking with people. You gotta learn like like the song says, when to hold them, when to fold them. Relax. I know, I know. Take what, it easy. You're going on. What if, you're getting louder what, and louder. What if he owned the company and made fresh mozzarella? What and he, he invited me down. What if he didn't? And I went and bought, bought his product. But what if he didn't? I don't know. You never know until you network with people. Oh, that's not true. Oh, I gotta ask him a question. Good. I gotta ask you a question. Are you on your phone with you? No, no. Oh. no just. I don't need the phone. 
You know the cheese that makes the, the worms? The cheese that makes the worms. Yeah, that at Gorgon's Old, there's a certain cheese that makes like maggots. And the Italians pick it up with the Italian bread. Locatelli? All right, I, I gotta research it. You gotta Google it. Yes, I'll Google it. Well, I'm glad you only cost you 50. That's good. I'm happy you know, for you. I had, a, I had a bad feeling about it. And I said, how could I need a whole new exhaust system? He said I backed into something. I knew I didn't back into something. Then he said someone backed into me. I knew I couldn't have such bad luck. I, I got, shh, shh, calm I got down, bad calm luck down. besides calm that. Calm down. But what I've always heard is, I've always heard Pet Boys is high. Apparently they're very honest. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Let's I, find out, shall we? I caught Strauss Auto. Let's find out. Well, there's not one around here. So now, I know. They used to be in Lodi. Uh, where'd you go? Right down here? Right Pet Boys. Right down the street here on Route 17 in New Jersey. Were well, they very good and honest with our friend Eileen? Saying yes, right? Yes, it is. But you know what? I'm happier that you... Wait, wait. Who was the other was the first mechanic Eileen went to who wanted eight hundred dollars for a new exhaust system. Was she creating some sort of fraud? Say yes, right? Yes. That happened to so William say too. Yes, Bill did, right? Eileen. No, yeah. Eileen. Well, we didn't deny it. Eileen, the Getty station on the corner did try to try to screw him over. To you got screwed over by the guy who said was in walk. You raped him out. Yes. You used to walk to him. I, you listen, to him again. there used to be a Strauss order in Lodi. They told me my radiator was leaking, but I says, how come the antifreeze is on top of the radiator and not on, on, on the, 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 on the ground? Doesn't gravity you know make, make leak leaking antifreeze? You know who saw my oil leak? No, they're gone. I didn't yeah. say you did a leak. Now it's auto zone. I, I said, noise. I know, they're yakking so much loud. Do you know who saw my oil leak in the car? When I went down here to the Shell station for oil, because my light came on, add oil. He said, look, it's dripping right there. Here's a guy that, wait, here's a guy that works in a, in a place. She went to Pep Boys and they gave yeah. her, they gave her the... But did she have a thing? She screwed you over there, She did. Oh, the, oh, wait. No, no, the guy was totally honest at the Shell station. He said, look, you have an oil drip here. That's why you're adding oil every couple of months. But he was, again, totally honest, see? That's I, Eileen, did they fix it? Is it done? I have to go back tomorrow and get it. Oh, you have to go. All right, so, the, so they gave you a good estimate, huh? The part, the part didn't come in. I have to go back tomorrow to the car and then get it installed. So don't make sure it says this is still $50 like you estimated for me. I better say that. But yeah, make sure they, they all we had. Exhaust. What else is just make sure, okay? Hey. Hey. Right? Make sure they do. Yeah, so a regular private garage yeah, wanted 800 50, bucks. Yeah. I say, right? That's do what? Right now, right? What's that? I got everybody yakking here. I what what is it? Only charging me 50, I wish you'd go right? over there and talk to me. I tell them you're only charging me 50. That's so you quoted right? me 50 the other day. Or is that still 50 for this? It's, it's still 50 for this. See what I he say, says. Right? Yeah. That's all. You'll be fine, I think. You'll be fine. This could be a manifold tail flight in the moment. Something about her exhaust system. 800 bucks for private garage. Good, I'm happy for you, Eileen. Wait, you think this company was pet boys that wanted the 800? No, no, private garage. Oh. Private garage. Well, you Italians cannot hear. I'm only asking a question. Well, you Italians. See, the waspy people, the waspy people have a tendency not to like Eth ethnic groups, you know what I mean? Like, I know, I know. I like everybody. Oh, you don't like them. my friend Rick. My friend, no, you, do not. <laughs> you don't like anybody. Listen, my friend Rick Brown from Southern California, he's Dutch. He makes he talks about us Italians all the time. Where we talk with our hands, we're loud, we talk. Oh, like, let me let me that's bullshit. You know, what ethnicity, what human doesn't talk with their hands? And Come he, on, and he's, that's BS. he's white Protestant. He, and I'll bet if he's up there, he's talking like this, my people, and this. Well, he is a yak. Do people stand there like this? No. Everybody talks with their hands. Right. End of discussion. Everybody talks with their hands. That's some kind. Irene, 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 Irene. I'm sorry. I'm thinking a good night, Irene. When are you going for your this work? When he gets the part? When this week? Good for you. 
Do you have a time report? And the clock, he said the part should be in there. Okay, okay. Good. And I couldn't sleep because I was so upset when he said eight, eight on I know, you kept tossing and turning all night. I was going nuts. <laughs> made her, that made her evening. <laughs> Later on, give me the name of the private garage. I'll destroy no, him. No, don't give him anything. He, I he will. likes to hurt people on the computer, and I don't no, go for that. Guilty should be punished. Did you leave no. with the deposit with this guy? No way. The, okay. the guy for 800? No way. No, the, she means Pet Boys. Okay. I didn't leave a deposit with Pet Boys neither. How much do they want? 15. What is it? Just the, uh, just the clam. Clam? $50 that's is just a clam? Just a clam? For the labor. Everything you need. The wow. whole job. Labor. Yeah, whole that's all. That's, that's it. Does. So you get to the point, the whole job. Clam. clam. You know how fast it takes them to put a clam pot? Yeah. 3.2 3. 3. minutes. Exactly. <laughs> You'll be fine. Enough time to hop in the car and get over to Ray. You, you know who's a, who are, who's another crook? Dentists. They're worse than uh, the mechanic. Uh, they're, they're great. They don't rip anybody oh, yeah. off. Dentists are phenomenal. Fifteen hundred dollars for root canal and a crown. That's way underpaid. They should get more. <laughs> okay. Hey, look who's here, Joseph. How about that? Oh. Hello there, Mr. Professor. Go over and say hi. Right. Now you hear me. I said, Mr. Professor. Yeah, go over and say hi. Mm. Oh. You know what I should ask him? Why were you wearing a black suit in 90 degrees plus weather? I wasn't here, remember? No, the time he was parked on that side? He went oh, to the car. I had a crowd of eight. Mm -hmm. Beep, 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 beep. The air conditioner was good in TJ Bank. I went in there, I guess. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't this place, that's why. Our friend Joe is a Chinese guy here at uh, McDonald's who gives all these so-called seminar speeches. Have you ever had more than eight people? <laughs> Holy mackerel. He's a gentleman's gentleman. What's that mean? I don't know. I heard it when I was a kid on the TV. A gentleman's gentleman? I don't even know what that means. That means you're beyond being a gentleman? Man's man. Does that mean you're gay? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, or he man, that's another funny term. He man, she male. <laughs> she male. <laughs> oh god. Well, a man's man would be a man that other men look up to. No, well, it's not like gay. <laughs> a man's man. Or beefcake. That sounds kind of gay. Beef but anyway, cake it's been discussed. Yeah, it's beefcake. You don't like. Uh, how, what, how do you pronounce it? Whimsical or whimsical? Like like whimsical talk. Whimsical. Okay. No, I don't like small talk. I like. And no, I've no. More and more about it lately. For some reason, on the news, on shows, you're saying. What about get to the point? What about one-liners that are that are just co funny but corny? Well, yeah, but, I know. love Rodney Dangerfield one-liners. He gets to the point. It's funny, and that's it. Okay. Not, no, no long drawn out story. The most popular comedians are the ones with the quick one-liners. They don't draw things out and lull a crowd to sleep. Crowds don't like that either. They want to like, get to your point. Jerry Seinfeld says the reason why he never relocated to L.A. is because nobody's funny here except the comedians, which are from other areas. No. He says in New York, everybody's funny. You talk to people... Well, that's that, part of the shtick, I will say. Yeah, that's his... Best. I mean, there are characters in New York City. You know, that's what There you are mean. characters everywhere you go. Well, not in Bergen County. They're all stuffy. There are no characters in Bergen County. Well, we're characters. There are no characters. I, Eileen's a character. She's a character. Characters? Characters, you know, like interesting, amusing people. Are there characters everywhere you go, meaning funny, interesting, unusual people? Yeah. The, only I mean? the, only difference is, the only difference is Billy's unique. He doesn't like anybody to gab. No, I don't like I don't like yakking all the time. I just don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. Small talk. 
so, get to your point. So if you're if you're leading up against the bar having a vodka martini, there's a good chance that you you might talk about sports here and there or whatever, but you won't say that you won't say too much at the bar is what you're never. You know, that's oh, gee, that sounds real exciting. That's why I've always had, well, that's why I've always had wonderful women too, isn't it, Jimmy? Something's working, isn't it, Jimmy? Because when an attractive woman I don't talk them to, to you, death, I don't have to carry the whole conversation. Goddamn station. Oh, okay. You talk, you let them talk, you talk little bits. You don't yak at them. Well, you've got to be talking every minute of the day. No, that's much. That's a bit much. Overkill, it's called. Yes. No, that's ridiculous. That's getting you ridiculous. Just relax with the woman. You know, I mean, my parents even said, my God, you always had wonderful, wonderful women. I mean, classy. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, I had Judy in high school, the prettiest girl in high school. Roseanne, the cover of Cosmo well, twice. Well, I, I met Sherry, one. Sherry the, Sherry, the niece of the Shah of Iran. She was in the Miss Universe passion. And the dance teacher. Roseanne DeMar I mean, they, all of them. They had big, she had big breasts, the dance teacher. Who, Gina Coe? Yeah, no, 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 oh, no. Uh, uh, the other uh, one. Uh, um, the one that's... Had uh, a meltdown at work. That was um, the name again. Italian. Oh, Dina Dina Trifulio. Yeah, Italian. Yeah, girl, she yeah. flipped out when I broke up with her. Yeah. No, I'm saying she that's had right. she had primo breasts. Uh, I, I just I won't tolerate BS. I said that's it. Now Gina Cole, she was a nice looking Asian girl. Nice looking. She was gorgeous. But at the time, you, your hands were tied. You couldn't, you know, you were taking care of your dad. She was gorgeous. You know. She, and, and, and if circumstances were different, when I saw the uh, porn porn star out in front of uh, Barnes and Noble, Pamela Peake, oh, looked your lips and when she looked at me. You, you could have really banged her for hours. Well, yeah. that's not the most important thing. Yeah, but she's a porn star. Doesn't mean a thing. She's a woman. Sometimes yeah. you're, you're, you've got odd issues. What about um, Stormy Daniels? Uh, she's very doable. Mm -hmm. I never met her. What's that got to do with no, anything? No, you've seen her on TV. I'm not attracted to her. Oh, okay. At all. How's your mom doing, Jimmy? She's, she had a, um, an episode today because we're having a problem with her caregiver. Her caregiver is too rough with her. When She gave her a shower, and my mother can only see out of one eye. So she had her oh, she face. Can? She's no, blind? She, she, no, she can only see out of her left eye. She's blind? Totally. Because she had the tumor behind her right eye. Oh. So, so this caregiver had her face loaded with shampoo and soap. So my mother was saying, my eyes are burning. I can't see. And the woman was like really not nice to her at all. I said, be gentle. Go slow with her. She won't listen to me, the caregiver. She doesn't care. She's from West Africa, and she's she's on the phone all day, talking. Not to be funny, but it sounds like a caregiver is careless. And if she's on the phone talking to friends, I'd report that. The whole shit. You want to do phone. all your stuff and rip on the computer? I would call the agency and report this. I shit. did. I told my sister she called the agency. There you go. That's what you've got to do. No, yeah. but she's not gentle with her, and my mother was frightened. Well, you call the agency. Yeah. That's what she Don't did. tell me. Don't tell me. Call the agency. It's been done. Bam. It's been done. There you go. Jimmy, that's the biggest... No, no, you're, no, 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 you're not that's paid not the to point. be here and talk on the phone. You're here for my parent, my mom or my dad or whatever. No, no you're not being paid to sit here and talk to your friends on the when phone. When somebody is on the phone throughout the whole shift talking, no. talking in their language... You that, don't do that. That means they're talking about you, the client, the, the employer. Because why Why it's would they talk... Well, wait a minute, language. wait a minute. Why, why are you just interrupting? Why are you on the phone? She, uh, she gives me dirty looks. I can't say nothing. I don't care about your looks. Why are you on the phone? And I told my sister, the girl, no, like, no, no, why are you on the phone when she's there? She was, put the phone down. You're here to take care of my mother. Yeah. Well, guess what? Put she, the phone she, down. She ignore, she's been ignoring me. What did I do with the doctors when they screwed up old dad in the ER? I went down to all three sitting there, and all I did was yell out, get back to school. And they just stood there. I said, I don't need your crap. You got to talk to these kids. Not, don't see your, your big, brave computer. You want to put them down on the computer, but face to face, you won't do it. The, the agency was told. You, what you couldn't do it? You had to let your sister. Why didn't you call them? And they tell your sister for backup. Because she has the number. I don't. I need the number for the agency. Blah blah blah. Well, my sister has financial power of attorney. That's why she. Yeah, but still, you're the one that cares. That's yeah. there. Your sister's not there for 24 hours. Yeah. You are. Yeah. I I, wi I witnessed the roughness. Don't talk, don't tolerate this. Report that I'm immediately. Honest. That's honest. I mean honest. If you can't be a man, a woman, or whatever. Right down the road on 17 West, it's H and R. 
17 West. Where is it? 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 What's the name of that wedding place on 17th? Fiesta. Il Villaggio? Well, Fiesta's this one. Yes. No, no, on the other side. Oh, Il Villaggio. Il Villaggio. Is that what? the big place that they have? That weddings and everything. Da, da, right, right. It's a huge building. Though. Right after that, you'll see sign trucks fixed. Down at the bottom, he's on the left hand side. H and R, we want to give his number. He is, I get all my work done over there. He's honest, unbelievable. You want to well, I'm glad Joseph, Joseph came over and said goodbye. Oh, he left? Oh, I don't see him. Do you? you he left without saying so long. Hey, what does that mean, so long? Uh, is that like uh, Ron Jeremy? Was I, like, I like to confuse people watch their faces. Like Habib. I'll see you when I see you. And I said, well, what if I'm invisible? Then they stand there like... My old mechanic, I prayed for him to retire because he was so sick. John Holmes, that was the guy I was thinking. I see you when I see you. What if I'm invisible? That's what they used to say to the porno star John Holmes, so long, when he used to leave. No, they didn't. Because he was so long. No, they didn't say that. Better stop trying, Jimmy. That was, that was gold, like Kenny Banyan told Jerry Seinfeld. That's gold, man. That was yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's, why, that's the part why they made it funny, because it wasn't funny. The guy was a moron. It's so good. It's gold, Jerry. You're going to be a star. So he was a hack. Jerry called him a hack. So long. Do you think? John, uh, uh, John Holmes, so long. See, people try to make too much fun, and it doesn't work. Well, it was, it was short. It was cute, and it was funny. It wasn't funny. So long. It was too obvious. That's why nobody says it or uses it. Because when they see you when come through the door, forget about it. He's right. They take, a, they take full advantage of you. A friend of mine, a friend of mine, she's a female. She's about maybe 40 something years old. She goes, would you come with me to the mechanic because I got to get some fixed. And she, I went. And I was there with her. If I wasn't, I could imagine. They rip you apart. Oh, without a doubt. They rip you apart. It's a shame. This guy charged me $700 a couple of weeks ago. I can just imagine. Wait a minute. Now it's getting interesting. If anything really needs to be done. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What did you... My girlfriend said he might probably rip me off before, you know? Eileen, yeah. what did you pay $700 for? For, for something to pass inspection. What the heck? This guy's a... This guy's a... The same guy? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, oh, this guy... This, if, Who if, this is the guy, may I ask? I don't want to say. Yeah. Why? I want to make sure that I don't go there. Well, I probably won't. Well, why don't you? Jason anyway. Why don't you want to say? In Lodi, yeah. in Lodi, no less. I'm from Lodi. I'm from Lodi too. Say it. What? There's no one off South Main Street. Why? Since Central Avenue. Too well, yeah. He does, oh, apparently he wants to what, screw you. What number? My my, uh, I got relatives living number sixty. I'm on corner Central and I'm on Hillcrest. Central and Hillcrest. You're Hillcrest. I know where you're at. Yeah. I, you know what's coming? The St. Joseph's Festival is coming. Yes. Now. Labor Day weekend. I was on Giuseppe. Yes, Zeppelis. Yes, sir. Cabuzzi. No Cabuzzi. Take care. I told the guy. Nobody cooks Cabuzzi. I don't want to say it to too many people. Yes. No, I don't know. I don't know why you don't. They don't, they don't even make you, good why, why, why are you protecting them? He's done good work in the past. I don't think he has. I don't believe that. I don't think he's I don't in Florida, that. yeah. Oh, oh, is that the guy by City Hall and the police station? I don't know where the police station is. The Exxon, you mean? No, the guy. There's a mechanic that's kind of like near the Florida City Hall. Tell this guy when you call. Tell Charlie sent you. I sent him many customers. All right, he's really good. I'm being serious. Hey, you know, I noticed the stores don't make brajol like grandma did. They, oh, they don't know. stuff them. They don't stuff them good no, no more. They don't make them. Would charge me fifty dollars too, right? Who? Jason. I don't know what he would charge you. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Did, 
Are you going to go through this guy tomorrow or something? I guess I should, yeah. No, why don't you call Jason first, see what he says. Uh, yeah. I would. What do you got to lose? I would. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they're cheap bastards. They don't stuff the birds raw. No, they don't. It's not the way mom used to mom, make it. Mom, my grandmother used to do it with the pig skin and yes. the tomato sauce for hours and the uh, flank steak. She used to cut yes. the flank steak like yes. this. She used to put the chopped hard boiled egg, Parmesan cheese, right. there everything, you go. everything. All the, yeah. Poor yeah. Pasta, pasta con sardi, that's another Sicilian uh, recipe. Pasta con oh, sardi. Pasta con sardi, yes, I know what you mean. Everybody charges a high price for labor. Jimmy, that's true, know. but 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 that $700 and then $800. I'm just wondering if that's the guy that's near. Uh, is, it, is he off Main Street? You're afraid I'm gonna bash him on the internet, right? No, a lot of women get a lot of people get ripped off by by mechanics like that. He is, isn't he? He's off Main Street. I think I know who you mean. He's on a side street by Walgreens, right? He's around the corner from Walgreens. Wink if wink if he's around the corner from Walgreens. You don't have to mention his name, but if you say he's around the corner from Walgreens, then I'll know. I know who it is. Yes. He is. Okay. Gotcha. He's a no good, he's a young, he's a young fella. Decent looking guy. He's not, you know, the guy that owns it. He's a crook then. Because other people, he's then he's a crook because other people have told me. <laughs> if this is the guy right around the corner from Walgreens and across the street from Burger King and the Dollar Tree, I know who you're talking about. So that's. What can you do, Jimmy? But that's him, right? Everybody's got to make a buck. No, but the not. I said he's got to. He's got to. He's got to make a buck. But not, not not at your expense and other uh, other people's expense. Unbelievable. I wonder if he ripped me off on on the thing for inspection last two three weeks ago. I paid six hundred and fifty three dollars. You know you know who else ripped me off? The Exxon station in Hasbro Heights. Mm -hmm. The one on the boulevard. That was a lot of money, Jimmy. You wonder why I ripped can't come in here and buy coffee or anything. I paid six hundred and fifty three dollars three weeks ago, no. Jimmy. The guy the Exxon station, the mechanic is like Polish or Russian immigrant. He wanted over six hundred dollars for just a couple items. He says, "Oh, it was the labor was hard to, you know, I had to get really in there in the engine." He, he, he overcharged me. The one you're, t if the one you're talking about mm -hmm. is right around the corner from Walgreens on Main Street in Lodi, I know exactly who it is. He ripped me off in the past. <laughs> Son of a gun! I got. It. I just, I just, in a roundabout way, I found out which mechanic ripped her off. Oh. And he, he has a reputation for overcharging people. Also, the Exxon in, uh, on the boulevard in Hasbrook Heights, he did a couple things for me, over 600 bucks. Same, you know, this right. Well, I, I, I met the guy a couple times. I went to the BP. They weren't big jobs. I pulled in there and said, my tail light is out. He got right on it. Another time, he said, just give me $10. Another time, I had a, a leak in my tire. He, he said, back it up a little. He went in there, got the plug, fixed the tire. He said, just give me $10. That's honesty. Oh, that's a real honesty. When I told him about the, the other ride, I said, I need somebody with a tow truck. He said, I don't have one. The only other one I know is the Exxon. But I don't like this guy. He's a jerk. He says, I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. There you go. And, End of discussion. and okay. this and this mechanic, I bet, shows you the part he took off. The no, the part I that's don't. well, they can show you any parts they have in the back. Yes. You charged me six hundred and fifty three dollars three weeks ago, Jim. Yeah. I, I'm Bill. That's Jim. Bill. No, no wonder why I'm drinking water, and now he's going to charge me eight hundred. 
two weeks later. No what did he charge you? Six for, what did, you said seven hundred. Now six fifty. Yeah, for what? Well, and he took. A, I gave him a hundred dollar deposit. What did he charge you? Do, what to do? What though? Because something for inspection. Yeah. No. Well, what? A part for inspection, so that it could but pass. You don't know what it was. Sen a, sen a sensor or something like that. Yeah. Please. I have to get what it was. Where are you going? Oh, I thought she was going to wave. And then she bring, and then, <laughs> then she brings that 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 hunk of junk purse with her, of course, because we might go through it, right? Weeks ago, as Eileen just said, this supposedly dishonest mechanic charged her six fifty or seven hundred dollars for a part, so the car could just pass inspection. You know what? There's more to Eileen than meets the eye. That's for sure. Now we've always had she just makes shit up. Just won't tell the truth. It's just bullshit. Her brother makes 80 grand. This guy charges 700. Now in 10 minutes, down to 650. I wouldn't want to be her shrink. To be her shrink. she doesn't have all the home health aids coming. That's what she claims. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. It's people, man. Come on, stop yeah, the lies. Yeah, now I know why shrinks get paid so much. Like a hundred dollars every forty-five minutes. Sure, where you get it's a lot more than that. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, because I have to listen to lunatics. God, lawyers get three fifty an hour. Oh, but the good thing about a lawyer is he won't take a case unless he's probably ninety-nine point nine percent sure he's going to win it. But but it is true about mechanics fees. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, I mean, she's got severe issues. Yeah, but but the pathological line is not good. You hear from Jackie yet? Yeah, earlier. Really. Yeah. Is our acquaintance down here, McDonald's Eileen? Is she a chronic and pathological liar? <laughs> Does she make up just about everything just right over the top of her head? There you go. Well, you're back, and, and guess what? Your purse is safe because you brought her with you. She had her with her. What did the police say the pendulum for? Oh, just to see had you been ripped off, and I said yes. Yeah, I told you. And, and, well, yes, we know. And we to didn't find out that. if you're telling the truth about the mechanics. Well, I told you it's a guy by Main Street, but I'm not telling you which one. Well, when I said, is he around the corner from Walgreens, it, you I smiled. Just, I smiled, but I didn't say which one. He's by Main Street. That's all I'm telling you, Jimmy, yeah? But when you, when you gave me a big smile. I don't know why. You won't mention why you're protecting this guy. I'm just protecting him. I don't want to tell him, you yeah? know? No, I don't know. I don't want him coming back and giving me flat tires. You said about giving a guy a flat tire. I don't want a flat tire. This guy threatened you? No, I didn't say that. Well, you said about giving you a flat tire. He's not, not me, you yeah? know? No, I don't know. I'm going by what you're saying, and you, it sounds like an odd story. This is getting interesting. I'm just protecting myself. No, Everybody's you're not. You're being foolish by just. You're being foolish by not telling the name. You won't go there anyhow, so don't worry. That's about right. It. So that's right. So what are you worried about? Yeah, just don't worry about it. I, I I'm not get, worried I about it. We're just curious who it is. Nobody said we're worried about it. You see how you're making stuff up? Now yes. the guy no. giving her flat tires is coming out of her mind. It's just you're, a, you're imagining no, stuff. Not me. I'm just saying. Saying, where well, where did the flat tire thing come from? I just heard it, that's all. From who? You can you can swing that thing and it'll say I heard it and I'm right, you know? About what? About hearing about a flat tire. I heard it and that's right. And I don't want to worry about getting what, well, flat tires. I have tires. to know what to ask. Did Eileen hear about this guy giving flat tires to other people? Is that what you want to ask? You can shake it and it'll say yes. Is that what you want to ask? You can ask it if you don't believe me. I asked it. That's not what he asked you. I said, is what the, the way you want me to phrase I'm it? I'm not imagining. You said I'm imagining. I'm not I imagining can't get yourself. through. I just can't get through. It's not. No, it's not what he asked you. He's asking you to pinpoint your question. 
an intelligence by Main Street. How much more are you no, That's not what I'm asking. I said, how do you want me to phrase the question? You're not, you're, god damn it. Whatever you want, that's enough. I gave you enough information. How much more do I have to tell you? I got enough information. I want to know about this flat tire thing so I can ask. I don't know what to ask. Well, you got enough information for me. I don't want to tell It's all haywire. Uh, She's imagining. Isn't this mechanic threatening with f flat tires? Not me. Not me. But he threatened other people that you heard. He didn't threaten other people. He did. This oddball mechanic up in Loda that uh, Eileen seems afraid of, has he threatened or done anything to people such as flat tires? It said yes, right? He says no. Not threatened, just you don't have to threaten. Is Eileen imagining all of this? Nothing could be wrong anyhow, not threatened, but just talk about it. You're saying, imagining all of this, right? Saying yes, it's all in your imagination. You could just talk about it, you know? You don't have to threaten, you can Well, just I talk think in one case it. you're right. I do know. And I think what you're doing is imagining. Yes, I do I know. I can imagine. I heard it. And when I said... Is you it heard it from who? I'm not saying who, but I heard it. Yeah, you're not saying who the mechanic is. You're not saying who you're Listen, from. Listen, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, so I'm keeping my mouth zipped. I'm covering my own ass. I intend to cover my ass. Well, that's real smart, isn't it? Did, her, did your brother yeah. tell you? Did Ray tell you? Did Ray tell you about it? Well, Ray doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. <laughs> Stop it. I had a real streetwise boyfriend from Patterson. He oh, said, cover you your ass. Streetwise. So I'm going to cover He doesn't ass. sound so streetwise to me. <laughs> he was real streetwise. He was a business executive for ABP. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to get off. Did our, did our, our acquaintance what is friend down here, Eileen, did she have a boyfriend from Patterson who worked for ADP? Yes, to say yes. It's yes. Yes, it's yes. Is that a yes, Jimmy? Yes, it's yes. No, it's a no. It's a well, no, it young was lady. Well, it was a yes. Uh, no, it was. Let me ask you a question. I had him. I know Slow I had him. Down. Slow down. What is an executive for ABC it doing? Was a working? Man. No, ADP. It was a man. All right, ADP. What is an executive from ADP? Why is he living in Patterson, New Jersey? Because he didn't have much money. He was poor up poor. Wait a minute, but you said he's an executive for ADP, so he's not poor he's anymore. He's a businessman. He only had the job for like six months. He's a businessman. He, he still is. You know what? I need that vodka martini right now. Let me make believe. Boiling. Thank God they created booze. Man, an executive. I was, I was in training to be a supervisor, and I was oh, Jesus in Christ. Woodridge, you know? No, I don't know. You keep saying I know, and I don't know. I don't know any now, of this. Now, now, it could be poor people with big jobs in poor neighborhoods. No, that's illegal. You can't do that. Think about, think about something. Think about this. I'm going to argue with you. You're raising my blood pressure. I'm going to be rushing out of here going to Hackensack Hospital for high blood pressure. But listen, Otherwise, listen, listen. No, they closed the high blood pressure unit. It's not open anymore. <laughs> they all got hypertension when she showed up. They're going to name a wing after you, I think. You know, I mean, you know, come on. You mean Popeye's chicken? They have great wings. Let me ask you a question. If this gentleman was an executive for ADP, and you, he's an executive, what is he living in Patterson for? Because his mother was real poor and he was taking care of her. He can't afford to move out? I didn't ask him about his finances. You think he's, he's tight with the dollar? He's a skin flint? Maybe he's cheap. Maybe like your your friend, uh, Mr. Galupi down the shore. <laughs> oh, that's that guy. Galupi and, and, and Ray, your other buddy that whispers to you. Hey, what was he whispering about, by the way, when Ray was here? Oh, I, I can imagine nothing really intelligent. I know that. I'll guarantee you that. He was probably... He does a, you know, football. He's so. probably trying to seduce him. He's saying Bill likes to talk... He talks to Bill about football, you know? Yeah, he goes, Bill is, so how's Bill is interested in football. <laughs> how's football going? I said, the season hasn't started. He said Bill is interested in football. Oh, yes, I, lo I, I love football. You know what? what you does, to, you what entertain he me. What does he love? He likes to work at McDonald's. He likes to work at McDonald's. He works at McDonald's. Where? I know. He said he works at McDonald's. I never... Life. I never knew that. That's what he does. Yep. Which one? 
Hackensack, yeah. Oh, jeez. I, I never knew that. On Essex Street. Yeah, There's one on so. Essex Street. By the train station. Yeah. <coughs> Did you know... We're right, right near where... Behind where... Players Club used to be. Ab absolutely. Down the, down the hill. That's where they are. Did you know that train station? They're working in McDonald's and they, and they hang out in the Walmart down in Teterboro. I don't know they if hang out. Said, but they work in, work in McDonald's. Why doesn't he get a job at Costco? They, they treat their employees Shh, quiet. Very well. Because Eileen's friend, Ray. Does, do, do he and his wife work at the McDonald's in Hackensack? McDonald's. I know it's Hackensack West McDonald's. He says yes, right? Yeah. I hey, told you I wasn't lying. Hey, it's a, well, that's no big deal if you lie about that. I just said I never knew that. They, that's that's the truth. Did. did you know that train station goes all the way to Hoboken to the PATH trains? That you could go to, um, what's the word, downtown Manhattan from? The, the PATH train in Hoboken? That's right about that. That much is figured out right. What? That they're working in the in McDonald's. We that just, we just right said that. Those. That's established. We know that. That, that thing is figured out. It didn't figure out other things, right? But it figured that it out. It figured right? out everything. Everything. Not everything. It what did it figure out? about Ray and I. No, Ray it's not. I, I know it's wrong. What do you want to do? Raise my blood pressure that I get taken out of here? Is Eileen nervous and afraid because Jimmy and I know about her and Ray? Yes. You better get a better toy. Some, yeah. Well, it's not a toy, number <laughs> one. Some secluded rendezvous. It's, it's not wrong. It's not accurate. Run across the avenue. Eileen claims that you're wrong about her and Ray. Is that true? Yes, it's saying. It's saying no. Well, it's wrong. The, tra uh -huh. the train yeah. station on Anderson Street goes to the PATH train in Sea Caucus. Is Eileen afraid to admit? Midtown Manhattan. Her, about her and Ray. You know, I think the pendulum, the amulet has your number. Well, you better get a better thing to predict the future. You better count on God. So, across the avenue I think this is a uh, very very this happens to be maniacal madness that's that's what this is it's entertaining but it's maniacal madness well it's good to get at the truth too yeah so, uh, but I think I think she's threatened by the amulet uh, and your and your advice and your advice such a person as God who knows everything some Eileen, there is no God. Some, some there is a God, Bill. No, there isn't. When you Eileen. go to heaven, you'll be looking down on this earth, Bill, and you'll be saying, Now I see everything and Eileen. I know everything. Eileen, there is no God. <laughs> Do you think Bill will be playing a harp up in the clouds? You, we, I don't have you my believe that? On me now, can you I shut up, can you shut up for a little bit? Your God create man. No, did man create God? Yes. Does I, I, I have a fake false belief in something supernatural that no one knows exists? Yes. Are any of the world's religions correct? Or right. Really? Not even Buddhism or Hinduism? No, why would they be right? They believe because they've been around for thousands of years. What's that to do with it? Time proven? No, oh, wait, where do you get proven. that from? It's yeah, you're right, it's not what proven. What does that mean? That's no argument. Is religion a total crock of shit? You nervous for me, you keep the fingers, man. What's going on? No, I'm just, I'm just, like I'm just today. entertained. Yeah, but you're just like snapping all over the place. Oh, man. um, now the Anunnaki question, extraterrestrial influence. Not influence, Buddha's here, not influence. Right, let me see. The, are, is the human race on the planet Earth one 
huge extraterrestrial experiment. Wow, look at that swing. Jimmy, yes. I asked those yesterday. Yeah. Well, I'm asking it again. It's already been answered. Um, I told you about the recordings. The visuals and the audio. Yeah. Everything throughout before even before man was here has been recorded. So so this means that ancient the ancient uh, cultures of the human race they mistaken extraterrestrials for gods and angels. Is that true? That's why ancient aliens dissects it all shows people. Right, and they got conventions now, which is great. You know that, but they show everything. They mm -hmm. show it. They mm -hmm. dissect. Yeah. They show where the Bible doesn't make any sense. The Quran doesn't make any sense. But they show the ancient text, the cave drawings, the whole book, the space suits. These people it's all back then. The writings in the Bible even say the, hieroglyphs, the fire in the sky. That sounds like a jet engine, a rocket mm -hmm. engine. This is like a god. And they said if that on the ancient aliens, if there's such a thing as a god, what does he all that powerful? What does he need a spacecraft for? That doesn't make they sense. They even had the same drawings with ancient Hindu All around the drawings. world, different areas. Why do the pyramid? They've got so like many Like the hundreds, Hindu gods, yeah. So many hundreds of our of proofs with religious writings have none. Yeah. So if you're, yeah, you know, if you're a spiritual, a divine spiritual being like an angel, why do you need a craft? You don't. That's their point. That's the, what they said. They said, why would he need spacecraft? Spacecraft, right. It doesn't make sense. The fire in the sky is an engine. And how big is this car? Six inches? Six feet? Six hundred miles tall? How big is it? What do you look like? They're believing in fakeness. There is no God. You know, see, I, I, I lean, mankind has many delusions. What they, what they perceive. And most of it, Jimmy, is called cults. There you go, cults. It, it perception. They get false beliefs. No, you're probably dying. You're dying. <laughs> well, you get cold when you die? Yeah, no, course. you don't get a fever. Let's put it that way, okay? <laughs> no, you assume you, you assume room temperature. Let, let's put it that yes, way. You do. And then you take the big dirt sleep. <laughs> well, not if you're smart. No, people that are do smart nowadays cold? don't. Do I don't believe in burial. No, I believe in the uh, cremation. I don't believe in burial. Only when you speak. What, what do you think of vertical burial with shrink wrap, with vacuum packed no, shrink wrap? I don't wrap? believe in any kind of burial. I believe in the cremation only. That's all. Oh, you know what? Hello. Hey. Hi. How We're trying you? to talk some sense in here. We can't get anywhere. Can you take her outside and shoot her? <laughs> Just think of. Use my gun. Just think of all the lovely golf courses. Oh, Roddy, that's that's uh, Eileen. Hi. We're talking about cemeteries. Just think of all the lovely golf she courses. Used to be a guy. Just think of all the lovely golf courses and country clubs that we can have if everyone was everyone was cremated yes, instead of buried. I saw something. I don't know if you guys saw it on the news last night. The underwater cremation. Yeah, I, I saw it. Yeah. Davy Jones's locker. They're making um, the coral reefs out of the, the cemetery. Uh, out of the cool. ashes. They call artificial reefs. Yeah. They do that with uh, old barges, you know, old rust bucket yep. shit. But you have There's to. The guy that found it. coral icon. They, have to make, they gotta make sure that's why it's known as Coral Grief. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> hey, uh, how's your mom? How's, how's John? Mom's doing okay. John, he turns out that the leg issue was on um, shingles. shingles. I had that herpes zoster. Then he's got to get into roofing. I had it right on my head. I, I took an antiviral. Oh, I said that. Would you please? I will tell him. I'll see if he gets it. People like a has little puppy dog. She's doing good. Um, okay. I just had my my shirt is so I hold her. She's sweat. She can't do the heat. Who, the dog? Yeah. Yeah, I was across from John's. I was, well, you I have that baby. effect on people, you know. <laughs> people like... I, I had to hold it because she just like... She just... The heat? She just... This heat... This... I told people today and they agree. It, I said this is an odd year with humidity. For some reason, the humidity this year is making people nauseous. Yeah. Sick. It's and the thunderstorms kind of do nothing. The thunderstorms no. do and they nothing. Said, and they said the ERs are packed. They're up 30%. It's that bad. Yeah. For that reason. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird humidity where people are getting nauseous. Yeah. No relief from thunderstorms. Like when I look at her, you know, I get, I get nauseous. People that had chicken pox as... It's a good thing we love you. Yeah. <laughs> people that had chicken pox as a child usually get herpes zoster. Hi, shingles. <laughs> That's what my, my internist told me. 
Man, yeah, I guess. How are you, Lily? He gave me this antiviral, these blue tablets. Antiviral, strong antiviral. Oh, you yeah, are not. If you do, well, I'll make you sleep over his, gyms. Uh, How's that? Analysis. They give him stuff. Plus. Okay. Yeah, but he's doing better. Who, John or... Yeah. Uh, he's, he's still... You know, not great, but he's doing better. So. Well, he's not at going back to work at all. He's on disability. He's a poor guy man, getting dialysis, man. That's and he's diabetic too. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Well, they're nice people. All. Oh, how do you know about niceness? Because I, I I pick up vibes, man. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I'm very intuitive. You have, no, you're not. You have bad energy. And psychic. He has bad energy. You're, no. psych you're psychic. No, wait a minute. His energy now. His energy is better than my energy. Okay. His jokes are better. His energy is better. Okay, Jimmy, shut up for me. Everything's better, Jimmy. Wolfie. Shut up. You're incredible. I guess I am. I'm mad God. <laughs> Does Jimmy Madonna have great energy? No. What was the other thing you said you were? Psychic? Intuitively psychic, yes. Is Jimmy, my friend Jimmy Madonna, is he intuitively psychic? That's because the spirit that moves out love, loves Billy, that's why. Jimmy claims that you're just saying that because you love me. Is that true? <laughs> I'll stop making shit up, boy. Intuitively, intuitively. Boy, if you two don't deserve each other, I don't know what does. No, they. But well, she is a very nice person. Who? In reality, that one, the lady. Eileen. Yeah, no, the woman that came I'm to. I'm talking about you two. Now forget about her. For no, a I second. can't forget about you two. You two are the perfect couple. No, her and Ray are the You're perfect couple. You're to be intuitively psychic, and what's the other thing you are? Energy, high, good energy. I have good energy. No, I can pick up energy off people. I, I can sense when somebody's cool. Somebody's Can good. Jimmy Madonna sense and pick up good energy off of people. You know what I think it is, Eileen? I think Satan is working through Andrew Anderson, Bill Morrow, and the Pendulum to break down my my mor uh, so my morale. Morale is that the right word? Ego. Morale. Self-proclaimed things that you say you are if I if I sense that the woman's a great person she I I, I that's what I sense I and I think she is well when you meet somebody She's doesn't nice. mean you have sensing you, you meet you sensed your ex-fucking ass wife was good oh, on the website right, Jimmy right. you sensed this moron in San Diego was a great girl too come no. on love it, man. Well, she did send me a, she, he sensed that but really she did well. she did send me a wonderful gift uh -huh. from Amazon. and then she turned on you and her whole family did it as well you said Jesus Christ, no. well you didn't sense that, did you? It was there, a there, How come I sense it? I've never met the bra. It was a recent said, she's a whack job. This girl is nuts. I said, yeah. she's been cheating on you left and right. God knows how many people, and she has. Or, or August, because of the amulet said it. Yes. I'm saying, well, August yes. 1st, she sent me a beautiful gift. And then she turned on you, said she got whacked again. It got mean again on the phone, and so did her whole family. We're not said. on the phone, no, it wasn't phone. Oh, it was, had it on the computer. It was computer. Yeah. Well, that's what everybody's doing nowadays, texting and I'm not like everybody. emailing. I'm not like everybody. I, I don't know. do that shit. No. no. Yeah, I shouldn't say everybody. No, not everybody. That's just, again, a broad statement. It's no. a trend. A trend wise. Yeah, trend. That's just destroying a lot of people. So, Eileen, uh, have you learned a valuable lesson from all this mechanic experience? Mechanic? Are you clawing your skin off or something? What, what's what going on with your leg, the man? The broke, and, I was, and it was being used, and I didn't realize it was broken until oh after my God. using it. You know? He did the same thing with his legs. <laughs> you know you know when the razor gets dull, you kind of... It was an electric razor, but why it was broken on it? Why you still have it? I, I'm going to throw it away. No, no, well, you can get a replacement for the top. How can I get a replacement? Where do I get it? Where did you get the razor? A, 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 a got, razor, a razor replacement store. I got store. it at Kmart. It was a remnant They have replacement blades and screens. For, for yes, yes, ma'am. Where do you get it? Remington replacement store. Go back to the Kmart where you got Kmart it. Kmart is closed. I mean, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Store. You're right. Is you're right. Kmart open in Carnegie? Listen, listen to me carefully. Walmart. Go to Walmart and Garfield. They sell the replacement heads for the Remington. They do? Thank Why you. Garfield? What's wrong with the one right here? Or the one, okay, the one here in Teterboro. Let's go to this Teterboro? one. For a ladies Remington? Yes, yes, No, man. you have to get a man so you can do your beard and then do your You ever hair. hear Harmon's Beauty Supplies? But it's a Remington from By 15 years ago. Listen to me. 
stop and shop where he sh where he goes across the street there's a there's a Harmon's beauty supply they sell all the parts for what you're talking about you know why this part this part you need will cost about two hundred and fifty dollars Right? That, that, that little strip part by the stop and shop. Not yeah, South Hackensack. Hack and sack. It's ha regular hack. It's Hackensack. Hack 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 the bottom line is, do you know where the stop and shop yeah, I do. I know where it is? It's that little strip part I right there. Oh. They sell the parts to the Remington. No, he's just making it up. They don't sell anything. They have it. Just like I mean, you, you just verify just like too much. Did you really make an appointment with Dr. Rigolosi, by the way? Good. Did not. Okay. I did. I'm not lying. There you are. Okay. What's his name? Dr. Ronald Rigolosi. Our friend Eileen. Did she make an appointment? Call him up. He'll tell you. I'm not going to call him up. Our friend Eileen. Did she make an appointment with Jimmy's the doctor that Jimmy recommended, Dr. Ronald Rigolosi? says no. I, I did make the appointment, so it's lying. Are you lying about Eileen? I made the appointment. I know I did. I made the appointment. It's no lie. Is Eileen imagining and or making this up? That thing is so crazy. I made the appointment. There you go. All right. You told stop itself and come right back around. I made the appointment. You want to see the appointment? The time it's written on the card. You went there? I, I went there. I know it's, it's inside Bank of America. It's on the second floor. She's right. Well, maybe where it is. Yep. Yeah, I went see, there. Yeah, I the... went there just to see. Yeah, maybe. Let's see the card. And the dentist that's right around the corner in the same building got five star ratings from a lot of people. I went there. You, I could have gone by Felician College. It's on the road there, Felician College. Yes, too. you're right. I went there. I went there to make sure I'd know how to get there. That's my favorite liquor store, right because, around from Felician College. Of course, I lost the direction. She's a great so I, cutter so off. I had to, so I had to go. So I had to go there and practice trying to get there by myself. Tell her you, tell you, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy tell her you want to see the car. She's not going to stop. She's rambling you know, again. You know why you lost the directions I wrote? with that, that dilapidated pencil because you got too much junk in that purse. I know. The pro, the see, she changed the, the subject. Tell her you want to see the card, cut her off, cut her back off too. Where's the card? You know the where it is? At home. She wants have, to, he wants to see the, the card. card. Let me see the pen that you supposedly have in there too. Or quill, or is it a Ben Franklin quill? Where you have to dip the, the feather, the ink. I have the appointment. It's at 10, uh, 10 a.m. Look at that beautiful private jet taking off. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we were drinking martinis on it? Yes, a yes. Going to San Antonio right now. Anywhere. Or Tucson, Arizona. Even three Second block, Big Love Center. I wrote it down here. Wouldn't it be funny if you were rich and... Where's the card? Holy... I think she wrote her own. She what wrote What the heck did you do? Oh. They don't write all that the, stuff down. I wrote the directions down here because the guy gave me different directions. I got lost. He said, Se second What guy gave you these What guy gave you different what directions? What guy did you ask? When I was driving, I took, I, took, I took your directions, and then he gave me different directions. Who? He told me some guy, some guy when My I guy. was driving, he told me make right Some at guy when you were driving some told young you guy. to go somewhere. I, I stopped, I stopped, I made the left at Fifth Avenue, then he said, Right at Roosevelt Avenue, second block. Why did you do that? I practiced driving to get there so I would know how to so get there. So there's no, there. so there's no appointment on the car, Jimmy. It's just directions written on there. But the appointment's on the calendar. Listen to me, focus. Oh God! Like I like lose. Mr. Miyagi said to to Daniel son when you're going, when you make the left on Kip Avenue from the Terrace Avenue, you take it to the very end. You got that? So you can't go no more. You make a, a right, and then you make a quick left. There's the Bank of America. Boom, you're there. You gotta make you gotta make the appointment. I made the appointment already. I'm not lying. You said you had an appointment card, didn't you? 10 a.m. Uh, an appointment. The appointment card didn't on here. Billy understood here. my directions. How could I get an appointment card? I didn't even go in. It was closed. You 
just sat here and said, I went there. I meant that. I meant Did she that say, I, I went there, there, Jimmy? Yeah, she said that. I went there, but I didn't get an appointment card. I meant that I had the You said I had the appointment card. I didn't mean that. That was a mistake. In other words, you, oh, God, in other words you, made, you made a dry run to, so you don't get lost when you finally go. Yes, 10 a.m. to 23rd. Do you understand the easy, how easy the directions were? No, it should be lost. Like, Kip Avenue, make a left, go to the very God, end. What is my very God. End? I know how to get there. Look, very end means you can't go no more. Jimmy. You know yeah, what? Let me sit down. Let me sit down. Let me get it. Let me look at. Let me look at the plane. She's not going to go. I'm gonna go. You're lying. No, you're I have not. an appointment made. Call up and ask if Eileen already has an appointment. They will not give out personal information, Eileen. They will tell you. She's probably gonna. She probably, probably say who. She's shacking up with Ray. Probably. Have an it's the only one. Oh well. Oh Lord, that you know. So wrong. Your girlfriend is probably not cheating on you, and you're believing that thing like a bunch of fools. That's what. That's what you're doing. You're it hasn't been it. wrong yet, has it, Jimmy? It's been wrong about some things. Like I didn't what? Do anything with Raymond, so uh -huh. it's wrong. Maybe you try to forget it in your mind, I'm not but. I'm I know. I'm not stupid. No, I'm a but. Graduate but you have an imagination I'm that runs my wild. Mind, my mind works. I, 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 oper I operate. But you have an imagination that. You're, you're rambling again. The, you but held you, down. But you have an imagination that runs My wild. Works you hard. held down somebody in a job. You I, on the I floor? Held, no, I held down a job. I know. I'm only. Te I'm only teasing. Oh, by the way, your so-called boyfriend, my guy. Do you understand what it means that you have never been to his house in over eight years? That's because he's got another woman, and I understand. Now that you're now you're using your 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 and I your coconut. That too, Jimmy. Now she's starting to My use her head. Okay. He's not really your guy, I believe. He still expects me to text him. If I don't text him, oh well, I whatever you do, it just doesn't whatever. matter. You know what's great? You know what's great news? Tomorrow's Friday. I go to the buffet and I stuff myself with fresh seafood. And and I make and I pile the ice cream a mile high. They have a hard ice cream. Uh, Jimmy has an eating problem. He stuffs himself like Sal, our friend. No, I want to. You want to get your make money's sure they don't, worth? I know. It's Ten dollars. worth. No, I don't. I want to make sure the. I beat you the system. Sal should, I know. Beat the, beat the system. system. Beat the system. You and Sal should have an eating contest. It's only once a week I do that. Still, you can pack it away. I don't know. Where oh you no, I do it. pack it away. If that thing could predict the future, there'd be no need. There, there'd be no need for, for people to go to fortune tellers. There'd be no need for people to to be out there. To be out there. Are you going to get to your point? You're dragging on. Stop it. No need for people to be doing things. And well, let me tell you something, a little hot shot. Do you know how many of our Do you know how many of our presidents rely on astrology? They have astrologers come in. Even they have fortune tellers come in. They rely. On, they will not make a. The Reagan and a number of them, and Kennedy too, would not make a decision until their psychics told them what to do. Even Adolf Hitler had astrology. Uh, 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 Hitler too. There you go. Well, that's a sicko. But now, did you know? So, so your your whole argument is wrong. the astrologers down here on Route 17. Well, that's one. What about the thousands? That, what about the thousands they didn't arrest? What about the number of astrologers who have solved murder cases and told them where a body is? What about those? You don't mention those, though, do you, Eileen? Remember when Nostra so Nostradamus told a king of king of France not, not to get in a jousting match, and he didn't listen to him. Kennedy, and he got it. What happened? With he died. Kennedy? There what you happened? go. What? Oh, the Kennedy. You mean the ones that were assassinated? John Kennedy. What happened? Uh, well, he made a speech exposing. Oh, he was a very famous psychic, one of the most famous in history. Gene Dixon. Gene Dixon. Gene Dixon. Are you, are you stop. Gene Dixon said, do not go to Dallas. Do not go where? To Dallas. Dallas. He went to Dallas. Okay. So you're giving an example of one out of thousands that have been right. Eileen, what's your argument? Come on, let's stop it, okay? You know, oh, well, this one, that one. The, the amulet even told you, it's not 100%, but I said, are you in the high 99 percentile correctness? And yes. I said, do you make an occasional mistake? I said, yes. Jesus, y'all. God, to get through to people. It's so hard with ignorance. It really is. Yeah, and, and another famous psychic, Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet. They found, they found right where he sat at the foot of the Sphinx. 
And what did they do with it, Eileen? What did they say? I don't know. They said that at the foot of the Sphinx, they will find a secret vault. When open, it will change the all beliefs of all mankind forever and shock the world completely. Well, right where he said that vault would be found at the foot of the Sphinx, they found it. You know what they found when they opened it? Nothing, because they haven't opened it. The Egyptian government will not allow it out of fear of what they will find. Like you're afraid of the amulet? They're afraid of what's in the vault. They don't want it to come out because of Casey's warning. Do you see my point? Maybe it'll expose all religions. Quite probably, quite possibly. And that we are where we are from are who our real forefathers are who put us here, not your damn heaven crap. But well, when Jimmy did that, did the ambulance and said that the guy down the shore is married, but he's gonna marry me, that made me wonder. Well, Jimmy, you know? Jimmy, like, he gets bad swings up for some reason. I don't know. I don't no, know it goes why. clockwise or counterclockwise. Yeah, but you get some bad swings, and when I do it, it comes out bigger and. What do you want to know? You want to know about the guy at the shore? Yeah, see if he's married. Do, do your swing. But well, your I don't know if he's married. But I didn't make the appointment, and I did. Well, I don't, I don't buy it, but... You know, I if know I, I did make the appointment. I'm oh. bringing the calendar saying the 23rd. Our friend Eileen's my so-called my guy down at the shore, this Jerry guy. Is he married? No, and I never said he was. But that doesn't. I, mean, we never said he was married. Jimmy's just swinging around. Well, that he maybe was. he's living with a girl. Is he seeing another girl or other girls? Is he living with a girl? Well, yes, he's seeing other other girls. Is he living with another girl down at the shore? Can you say yes or no? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Take it through to you, Eileen. I got some. You also said I didn't make the appointment when I did. I don't think you did. I know I did. You, in your I mind, you know you did. Want me to bring in the calendar with the day on? Yes, would you please? And then you're going to go home and write something on the calendar. We're going to believe that, huh, Jimmy, right? No, that's I real evidence. Yeah, it doesn't prove a damn thing. You, you said I have the card right here to prove it, the blah, 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 the card. That card that didn't... Was a that, that, that was just... Then why did you use that argument? I wasn't even thinking you drove me crazy. You got me now that my gastritis is acting up. Well, fart in Jimmy's direction. No, th thanks. Yeah, whatever, don't don't eat a pot of stuffed cabbage, whatever you do. No, no, I think I insist that you do. <laughs> cabbage is sulfuric, right? It no, creates gas. It's, it's just, it's, no. Boy, Eileen. Eileen, you know what I think? I think I should bring you uh, these special incense sticks for. But you for, should put that thing around. I want to say one See, she, 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 she won't even let me finish. And it said that he was married. And so I don't remember Jimmy. Maybe he did, but I don't. I remember Jerry shaking it. Jimmy shaking it around. Well, I, 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 I distinctly remember no, saying I, I don't know if he's married I or not, but that. I did say I think he's seen other another woman or I remember women. Remember Jimmy shaking that around. Well, I remember that. does it matter? If he's married or seeing other another woman, either way, it sucks. It's been eight years and you haven't you haven't been to his house. That's that's the key. The bottom line, you're not grabbing. We I asked her alone. <laughs> that's not the shore since he's been down there eight years. It's eight I years, mean. man. You're making excuses. Come on, how to stop? But Jimmy was always shaking it that his girl had another woman, and he can't prove that. You know? what, what girl? His girl. girl on the computer, yeah. I don't know who you're talking about. Now she's talking about the one I was involved with. Well, that she's a whack job. You, you're better off being with it. rid of that thing. And, uh, geez, Eileen. Well, well, the 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 Phil it's doing conflicting stories. He's saying he is married for Jimmy. He's saying he's not for you. Which is the truth? You can't. It has to have a ask if Jerry, her guy, her my guy at the shore, is married, and then I'll ask if. No, Jerry. wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Make sure your hands are clean. Are they? That's why you're wiping your hands. That's why I'm. Uh, no, 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 oh. no. The ball. No, I wasn't taking it from. Go me. ahead. No, go ahead. You ask if he's. Oh, married. all right. That's what I said. Come on, both of you. Listen. Now, is uh, 
Eileen's so-called boyfriend, what's his name, Jerry Gullah? Yeah, my guy. My I guy, Jerry Gullah. Sure. Is he currently married to someone else? All right, it's saying yes, he's married. All right, hold on, hold on. Is he um, not bringing Eileen to his house because there's another woman living there? Yes, he's got another woman living there. And he said that he was going to marry me, that's what he said. At 60, and he's 63 now. 61. Is this Jerry Gullah, my guy, ever going to come through and marry Eileen? Says yes, I don't buy that. Yeah, that's a little weird. I don't understand you, Jimmy. I don't, I don't know. Eileen's so-called my guy down at the shore, is he married? Jimmy swings it the right way. Jimmy's got the... Jimmy does a swing and it's lack of energy. Jimmy did it. Jimmy did it. I'm it's doing it too, Eileen. Look, it's a bigger swing too. I think is it's this a... guy, Jerry Gulch? Is this guy down at the shore? Her, my guy. This Jerry Gulch. Is he ever going to marry Eileen? I believe what Jimmy does. That's because you want to select a belief. I believe what Jimmy does. You do that, Eileen. Now, do you think... Who do you think a, a demon oh. is trying to affect? Is on the side of me or, or William. Who said a demon? Where'd you get that from? Well, why would it always contradict? Well, who said a demon? Con because demons like to break people down. But maybe they're not breaking down. Maybe it's not a demon. You're They like to break people down? Is Jimmy wrong in accusing you, you of being a down? demon? Your morale. Not tell the truth, right? You just said no. It's not a demon. Maybe it's energy related, like you said. Does it anger you that Jimmy tries to call you a demon? Okay. All right, the main thing is forget about the guy down the shore. You guys do that, I'm going to get in line. Yeah, well, I, it's getting her. late. It's getting late. I'm going to stand in line for a minute anyway. She's leaving anyway. I think I would. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.